let us look at angles in the circle. Now, let us draw our cards. Say, we have two cards, or two radii, I should say. Okay. Then we have two cards now. Say this card and this card. Now, the angle, the first property of angle in a circle that we're going to look at is the fact that the angle at the center of a circle is twice the angle at the circumference if it stands on the same arc. Now what that is saying is that this angle here, when you compare them, this angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference, right? So if this angle at the circumference is x, then the angle at the center is 2x. Now, let's move this card. I want to move this, these two cards over here. Wherever you move these cards, the angle at the center is x, the same angle. If you stop it here, it's going to be the same angle that you get right here. Right? If you move it down here, the angle at the circumference is the same x, same angle. If you move the joint of these two cards over here, it's going to be the same angle that you get, all right? The same x. Now you have one particular case that is considered special. It's a special case of these, of this property. Let's look at what it is. Let's say you move the cards here and the radius at this point, move it along here and this radius at the joint of these two cards you move here. Now, this line here going right across is a straight line so it is the diameter. Question is what is this angle here? It is 180 degrees, right? So it is 180. You will find that this angle is right angle, 90 degrees. So when the card, when the, when you have the two radii form a long card, straight, they line up with each other to form the diameter, one straight line. And the angle right up here at the circumference is 90 because the angle on the straight line is 180. Alright? So that's what you see happening. Now let me move back. Let me adjust them to look like this. You will see that both angles, the one at the center and the one at the circumference, are getting smaller. But at all times, you have the angle at the center being twice the angle at the circumference. If this angle were say 30 degrees, this would be 15 degrees. Right? If this angle is 40 degrees, this would be 20 degrees. Right? 
if you have this angle, 60 degrees, let me erase these. If you have this angle 60 degrees, then this angle will be 30 degrees. So at all times, what you find is that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. If the angle at the circumference is x, the angle at the center is 2x. Twice the angle at the circumference. Alright, so we'll look at another property in another video.